And these floppy shovels are used for beating out small ground fires. Like this? Uh, thank you, Trevor. Or like this. Uh, thank you, Trevor. And wildfires are very common in this hot weather. Any questions? Yes! Can we go for a row on that boat over there? Not today, Norman. We're here to learn about fire safety. Oh! oh. Now let's try 20 star jumps. What's up? Out of breath, old chap. With all due respect, sir, we really should warm up before we start exercising. Less talking and more action. And that's how glass bottles can cause serious fires. Right then, I think it's time for lunch. Now, you two, help Trevor get the picnic things from the bus. Ah, uh, I'm too hot to get things. Now let's see you bend and pick up that fire bucket. Ten times, please. Oh, oh my buck! Ooh. Oh, don't stop. Carry on, carry on. A refreshing cup of tea. That's what I need. Oh, no. I've left the milk on the bus. You two stay here and keep an eye on that stove. This is so boring. I tell you what wouldn't be boring. Why don't we go and check out that old boat? Oh, yes. Brilliant idea, Derek. Quick, before Trevor gets back. Oh, I've twisted my wrist. Ow. Now swing those buckets round from side to side. So wing. Ow. Ow. Oh, my neck. My foot. Uh, dearie me. Oh, I'm calling Nurse Flood. She needs to examine Ellie's foot to see if she's broken anything. Um, maybe we should stop now. Shame. I was just getting into my stride. With that fog, it's going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Visibility will be limited. So half speed, and let's try the east of Pontypandy Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current's quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! What? What I give to be back in my helicopter? The wind is northwest. The tide turns in three hours. Plus, there's a spring current running. There. That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam! Come in, Sam! Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Pontypandy Island and a lot further out from the shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I've fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Pontypandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. <laughs> I hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. Uh, an engine? It's, it's a boat. Hey! Hey! Yes! Beauties! Oh, you found 
coming. There you go, Tom. Oh, thanks, guys. I thought I'd have to swim for it. It's Charlie you need to thank. He told us where to find you. Ahoy there! Thanks, Charlie. If it wasn't for you, I I'd still be out there, mate. You're a legend. I guess something went right today after all. <laughs> oh, Dad is the best! He's the coolest dad ever! All those who agree, sound your horns! <laughs> That sounds really good. Elvis, why are you playing plang, plang, plangy, plang? I wasn't playing plang, plang, plangy, plang. I was playing plang, plang, plangy, ching. Well, I never heard a ching. Did you hear a ching, Sam? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, I'm surprised uh, you could hear anything over your dubba, dubba, boof, boof. <gasps> dubba, dubba, boof, boof? I have never played Dubba Dubba Boof Boof in my life. You have? You did just then, didn't you, Sam? Uh, I, uh... And as for your blam blam blibbity blam... My blam blam bibbity blam is my best beat, and it's way better than your doodly doodly diddly dee. <gasps> um, uh, Elvis, Mike, uh, listen, you two have got a show tonight. No, we haven't. I'm not playing in a band with someone who doesn't like my doodly doodly diddly dee. And I'm not playing with someone who doesn't like my blam blam blibbity blam. But Mike, but Elvis, you can't. We can. From this day forward, the Elvis and Mike too are no more. I'm breaking up the band. No, you're not. Oh, thank goodness. I am. <laughs> Maybe you should talk to Mike about this whole band thing. I've made up my mind, Sam. Mike will just have to carry on without me. But he can't. Without you, the band will just be... Mike playing the drums. That's not my problem. And anyway, I've got a new hobby now. Juggling. <laughs> I'm going to do it at the show tonight. I've bought this book. It shows you exactly how to do it. Oh, <laughs> look! Where's my cup of Ooh. Ooh. tea? I'm sure you can make things up with Elvis, Dad. Yes, come on, Mike. Sorry, Helen. It's time I moved on and started working on a new sound. Right, who's up first? My name's James Jones, and I'm from Ponty Pandy. OK, James, take it away. Elvis wouldn't have done it like that. Sorry, James. Next. I seem to creep and to Elvis would never have done it like that. Next. I am the man Christ. Next. Elvis wouldn't have done it like that. Norman, pick that up. Ah. Oh. Sorry, Mum. Oh, next. Next. Elvis wouldn't have done it like that. Did you come because of my amplified advert? No, we saw Mandy's posters. Ah. What's over the Jew back, Sam? Should be quite soon, Joe. I'll see if Penny's got a visual. Any sign, Penny? People are arriving to welcome them back. Still nothing, Sam. Hmm. We hope they're not in any trouble. Girl. A flare! It must be Ben and Hannah. They are in trouble. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, get that tune ready. Elvis is on his way.
search the island, I'll sweep the surrounding ocean. in the current. They're searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Hey! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. <laughs> Told you! It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. What is that? Oh, hello, Sarah. I didn't see you behind my enormous bat. So, what do you think? I think it's taking up too much space. My ghost is supposed to be the centerpiece. Now look what your bat's done. Take it down now, James. Ready for your spooky party guests. Yeah! Enjoy the party. Cool bat. Wow. Amazing. It's really big. Thanks. I made it. So, who's ready for some of my monster dancing? <laughs> 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 It's getting in the way of my moves. That is no rubbish! Oh. Oh, no. I know it's here somewhere. Uh, uh. There! Oh, it's time to create the ultimate party centerpiece. Sarah's spooktacular house of scariness. <laughs> Thanks for taking the toffee apples, Penny. Oh, um, I'll get it. Uh, Elvis, remember, don't cook the toffee for too long or it'll get too hard to use. It needs to be runny. OK, Sam, runny it is. Oh, tasty toffee apples. I can't wait to make you. <laughs> ah, freeze. Not yet, sir. The toffee has to set on the apples. Oh, this waiting is interminable. So, how's it going, Elvis? Um, I think we might need some new toffee. Ah, and a new pan. Wow, Sarah, that's amazing. What's amazing? Where? Thanks, I made it. So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! Anything but uh, make a mummy. But so this game is called Pin the Tail on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? 